What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my Creed 3 spoiler free review. Now without any further delay, let's hop right into it. Let's go. Creed 3 once again stars Michael B. Jordan as Adonis Creed in his third round in the series and the ninth film in the Rocky franchise. The film follows Adonis Creed who is now retired and is enjoying the life he's worked for. When an old childhood friend re-emerges after a long sentence in prison. Now while their reunion sparks joy, it is short lived as soon real intentions are revealed resulting in the once brothers going glove to glove in the squared circle. Now I'm just going to say straight off the bat, I loved this movie. Michael B. Jordan does a fantastic job with this in his directorial debut. He really starts with a bang. Not only has he delivered an outstanding performance as Adonis, a character he's very comfortable with but he's also done an outstanding job with the direction, returning to a world he's very comfortable with, and his confidence and his passion for this project really translates through the screen. Something I really love about this film is that it draws inspiration from anime, and it's no secret that Michael is an anime fan, and he isn't afraid of letting that show through his work. Its influence is most notable during the fight sequences, as you may expect. The camera at times would slow right down, and highlight on a particular body part, whether that's an arm, your elbow, shoulder, abdomen, and then you'd cut to focusing on the opponent's face and observing their level of concentration and watching them analyze their opponent. And then it would cut to, of course, the strike. And this is a very common trope from anime. And other times they'd be like these intensely close up shots of the character's eyes really focusing on the emotion it's trying to portray in like the midst of the action. This is again another very popular trope of anime. This movie heavily reminded me of my favourite one, Hajime no Ippo. Now if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you do. And if you have, let me know down in the comments below who is your favourite character. This one also had mind blowing visual sequences from the typical workout montage you can expect to see from a Rocky or Creed movie. But to the more noteworthy climactic battle, between Adonis and Dame. The atmosphere, it changed. The commentators, the arena, the crowd, all gone. The fight really zoned in on them too, on a very personal and private plane of existence. This also drew influence from anime and worked exceptionally well. Now interestingly, the three main stars of this film, Michael, Jonathan and Tessa, have all been a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Jonathan Majors most recently as Kang Conqueror in Ant-Man and the Wasp of Quantum Mania and now as Damien Anderson in Creed 3. His performance is outstanding. He powerfully conveys emotions through expression, through body language, through dialogue and he is inarguably the biggest to draw from both Creed 3 and Ant-Man 3. Two of the biggest films of 2023 and yet released less than a month apart. Now Tessa Thompson has done a marvellous job returning as Bianca. Her performance has always felt genuine and she's always felt like a character that helps hold the film together and in many ways for Creed she is that support, is that backbone and is a very integral part of his story. This film deals with a lot of mature themes like crime, redemption, jealousy, misunderstanding, greed, forgiveness, acceptance, grief, so many others and that's just a few to list. These all contribute to making the film feel as personal, emotional and compelling as it is and nothing in this film felt forced. Now the elephant in the room, Rocky's absence. That will be a point of discussion for many. Some disappointed, some mixed emotions, others glad. Now for me personally, it was for the best. Creed has now shown that he is not standing in Rocky's shadow. Heck, as far as I'm concerned, he stopped being in Rocky's shadow by the end of the first film. But as long as Rocky continues to be in these films, Creed will forever be perceived as under his shadow. Though would it kind of have been nice? Of course, it's his franchise. But can I live with his absence? Yeah, I can. The torch has been passed. Now when it comes to reviews, it feels like you have to find a negative, something to offer constructive criticism about. But if I'm honest, I just don't have anything bad to say about this film. Genuinely, I don't. Like, is it perfect? No, no film is perfect. But at the same time, I cannot fault it. The only kind of thing I would personally want is for it to maybe be a little bit longer because I just happen to like long films. But that is more just a personal desire rather than 
an objective critique for the film and I'd be satisfied if the series ends there. Not because I didn't enjoy it, but because I enjoyed it, I feel like it's ended on a high. The first film did a remarkable job of setting up the Creed character and returning to the pre-existing world established in the Rocky films. And then the second film allowed us to witness his character development, revisiting aspects from the Rocky films and dealing with some family matters. Now this third film deals with a retired Adonis stepping back into the ring to essentially face a ghost from his past and have a sense of closure. So to wrap up people, Creed 3 is an exceptional movie in which Michael B. Jordan makes his directorial debut and Jonathan Majors stars in his second major film of 2023. The film concentrates on a tightly woven dramatic and compelling story executed with exceptional fight choreography and absolutely unrivaled visual sequences in any other sports film. I rate Creed 3 a whopping 9 out of 10. I would have to say now after seeing a full Creed trilogy and comparing it with the Rocky films, Creed goes above Rocky. And that's it for me today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the bell icon, comment down below, let me know whether you've seen this film and if you have, what you liked about it or what you didn't like about it or whether you prefer Rocky or Creed. And whether you've seen Hajime and Whip, and if you have, who's your favourite character. And don't forget to subscribe, share this with your friends and family. And until next time people, safe.